like especially in the area of submission because that's not something that kind of came easily for me <laughs> Just getting ready for dinner with Ali. My mother in law is going to be here shortly. And yeah, I just thought let's have a quick catch up and stuff. Because obviously it's been a while since my last upload. And honestly, I feel like I just kind of really needed that break. Like, as I was saying earlier, off the back of my last video, I did share a post on YouTube where I just was like, you know what? I've acknowledged like the idol of entertainment in my life and I can see how it heavily was impacting not only my devotion but just kind of like my productivity in general really happy that I took that break because I was able to just kind of refocus and I've definitely been a lot more productive in my personal life as far as just like home management and stuff and just kind of <laughs> getting my life in order in general I've been reading a few books as well I've just started reading a Even Exile by somebody Markle I want to say Rebecca Markle but yeah the book is called Even Exile there was a documentary on it and I've just started reading it and um, I also am going to reread Let Me Be A Woman by Elizabeth Elliot and I just really wanted to get into these books specifically because it just kind of focuses on like biblical womanhood and God's kind of like original plan and obviously how the ways of this world have kind of perverted what it actually means to you know to live kind of fearlessly in in, in our femininity as as Christian women so yeah that's what I've currently been reading along with Titus 2 and I was actually I've actually had this conversation has actually come up quite a few times in the last month like with just a few different friends and it was just kind of like older women you know where the bible speaks about the older women teaching the younger women and stuff and I think that that's kind of just been really heavy on my heart to just really get around the older women who are obviously more experienced in life marriage motherhood than myself and I've realized especially in, in this season of my life how important that is for me anyway for me anyway and yeah so that's kind of in my prayer currently that you know God will bring and I will also surround myself with that older woman I'm definitely grateful for my peers that are like that I can just kind of speak to just about life and marriage and motherhood in general I'm very grateful for them and I'm not um, I'm not underplaying or undervaluing their, their their input in my life but I just think like there's something about just getting under those seasoned older women who've just kind of experience life and marriage and motherhood in a way that I am yet to and just kind of allow them to pour into me and that's just been my prayer currently and also as I've been praying for that I've also been praying as well that God will just kind of renew the strength of these older women that they also will be eager to pour into us because I can imagine like it gets exhausting like you know you've had the responsibility of you know being a wife and a mother and all those other things that women do and then like it just doesn't get to a point where you can just kind of sit back like you're now expected to pour into like the generation after you and and it sounds easy but it's it's not an easy task I don't because it takes a lot of wisdom and self-control and you know that's and that's just something that I've, that's just been heavy on my heart anyway just kind of like that bib biblical womanhood and just learning and being humble to kind of place myself under the learning of women who are more experienced than myself just in life in general because like I don't know it all yeah and it's just yeah so that's just been my prayer 
and stuff obviously aside from my mum who's obviously poured into me in the area of like motherhood and stuff but yeah I just think it's just really important to me anyway and it's just given me a lot of food for thought as well and you know as I mature in the faith and in age like my prayer is like by the grace of God should the Lord tarry that I will be able to pour into like the younger women as Titus 2 instructs you know just really being able to give real wisdom and encourage them to you know be faithful women wives mothers you know submitting unto their husbands because it's just like I think for me anyway like marriage is a amazing but it has its real difficulties like marriage is not beans like it's really really not easy easy at all and i think i really do appreciate where i've been able to get that kind of sound advice even from my peers when it has come to marriage but i just feel like there's a lot potentially that in, on my part that I could have avoided if I had really kind of gleaned under those older women who had a thing or two to kind of share with me like especially in the area of submission because that's not something that kind of came easily for me I didn't grow up in a Christian home I, I didn't necessarily have that example of like biblical manhood or womanhood before me like there's a lot that I'm mindful of that I want to kind of exemplify exemplify before my daughters and that I didn't necessarily I wasn't necessarily able to learn myself like I, I really do thank God for God I do really thank God for his grace and for the Holy Spirit and mercies because like there's a lot that I genuinely have gotten really really wrong and um, yeah like i was saying especially in the area of submission because that for me maybe i'll do a separate video on that <laughs> but I'll, I'll probably say actually when it comes to actual um when it comes to that actual willingness to submit under my husband i feel like that was really properly at the top of last year where it was like actually a thing where like the Holy Spirit had really, really been ministering to me, like, and I had to choose obedience. And obviously there was a lot of repentance on my part. But yeah, I just think, especially where our culture is anti that, heavily like feminist movement. And I wouldn't consider myself a feminist. I don't think I've ever been a feminist. I don't subscribe to that. However, there were a lot of mindsets that I carried that was definitely kind of, in support of this new age feminism and it is nothing like what god was calling me to do in my life in my home and in my marriage so yeah there's been a lot to unlearn and like i was saying i think for me if i had those older women around me at the time that i could be really vulnerable with and honest with i'm sure they would have been able to kind of really chastise me and definitely in love kind of stir me in the right way but I do have friends that have we've been able to kind of like encourage each other, especially in the area of submission. But like I was saying, like it's a beautiful thing, but to kind of do that with your peer. But I think there's just something about having that older woman around you that can really, really just kind of pour into you and just be really honest and vulnerable. So yeah, I'm currently just praying for the older women surrounding me that God would really, really just kind of renew their strength and even challenge them also to want to pour into we the younger women do you get what i'm saying or is it just me am i the only person why am i just being extra but yeah i just feel like yeah that's something currently that's something that's currently on my heart very very heavily in this season so yeah that's my two pence on just kind of like things that are kind of like the core focus just on my heart in this season and obviously like as I learn and as I grow I will share the things that God has revealed to me but I do especially if you are a woman watching this um you don't just it's not just for married women as well 
but as much as like you might like to watch my videos and find encouragement like i just think there's something about going around those matured women like those older women i'm not talking about like 30s 40s i'm talking about those that even possibly our grandmothers do you know what i mean and and i think it's important that we as women young women whether that's single engaged married has chill mothers soon to be mothers um you know i think it's really important that we just kind of get around them and just learn from them and be willing to learn and in humility and yeah i think that's something that we should all consider so yeah as i'm praying for you pray for me that god will just kind of lead us to those to those women and you know those women that are already presently around us will really feel that challenge because i can imagine i feel like there's a lot of weariness with the older women because life lives you know and um yeah just pray for the older women as well that god will just renew their strength and renew their willingness to want to pour into us faithfully but yeah what am i doing now i can't find the loose powder that i want to use i'm just going to use this laura mercier one but yeah i hope you guys are all doing well like genuinely and there are a few things that i do want to kind of speak on i think my video that I posted in February, like prayers for my future husband. I've gotten a lot of like direct messages with regards to that and specifically in like what to do whilst you're waiting. And I do have like videos that are kind of focused. Oh, Kim, so her cocoa is here. Well, cocoa is grandma in, in Lingala, which is Congolese, and she's just really excited to see her. But um, yeah, so my mother in law's here. So yeah, what was I saying? yeah i've got videos that focus on like singleness and contentment but i i, I do think maybe i'm just going to do an updated ver version to be maybe more specific especially like in this current climate where i'm hearing that it's just the ghetto like this single streets is wild right now like the stories that my friends have told me with christian guys in general it's like everybody's apparently a worry but anyway yeah i just want to definitely do like an updated video on like how what to do in this season where there's a there's a genuine desire for marriage and just kind of like yeah my own perspective especially now i guess they say hindsight is the best foresight so yeah definitely i would love to do another video on that let me know if you're interested as well and i will definitely definitely do that um yeah got to be quick. what is the time i don't even know we were supposed to leave at five o'clock and it's 5 58 but um it's fine we we're gonna catch the train to central london but it's just too hot and i'm not trying to pass out on the central line so we're gonna drive instead it's just so like muggy outside it's not like a nice heat it's like a wet heavy useless heat but yeah but i'm just really happy to be back in front of the camera the last few weeks have just been really interesting and encouraging last week actually was really difficult like we all kind of had this viral infection so like vomiting using the toilet and stuff it was really really difficult actually um that was really really hard so but we're all on the menu. we're all on the menu now thank god but that was definitely really difficult because i've never experienced that where my whole household including myself was just unwell and i literally couldn't do anything i couldn't cook i couldn't clean thank god that we managed to get a cleaner because i just every, i was just so behind in everything and i was really beating myself up about it at one point but ali had to remind me like they like you're actually not none of us are capable like be easy on yourself like slow down take it easy like we're not okay yeah but but that was tough because my house was a hot mess like it's never looked like that before in my whole life like i felt so shy like if somebody wanted to come into my house at that point i would have upright told her i'm so sorry and like, my house is just it's not it's a hot mess but yeah, but yeah i'm really excited for dinner tonight 
All right. So I am done with my makeup. I've already curled my hair, so I'm good to go. We're ready to go and I'm gonna eat like a thief as per usual. No, I'm joking. I've actually gotten like my eating a bit more under control. Like, honestly, I've been so much more self-controlled and like my portions have definitely improved a lot. Like, yeah, so I'm really, really happy. Like, I'm not like eating like a thief anymore. And I just, overall, I just feel better, like physically and yeah. Oh, I didn't do my powder. Oh, yes. I feel like there's so many steps that I skipped with my makeup. I think I put my bronzer on. My Fenty Mocha Mummy. What? Okay, so I'm gonna go now. See you in a bit. <laughs> So we've just popped up the tents off. Let's turn music down now. I just don't want copyright to catch me. But yeah, Ali's just checking to see if I've got to park here. He wants to get a new fragrance, so we're gonna kind of do some gonna check the men's fragrances and see just kind of which one to get. And also I really want to get some slides that I've been keeping and I've had my eye on for a while. So I'm going to try them on just see how they like look and stuff um it's like the Gucci platform slides I love them so much but my only thing is yeah I don't like getting things that are not timeless but and what, I what I tend to do is if I really really want something I give myself like a year and I've given myself a year and I still really want it so it's just kind of like what if I get it and then in like a year I don't like it or it's not really it won't make sense in like five ten years because obviously it's a lot of money to spend on shoes but I really really love them like so so badly so i'm gonna go have a look at them and yeah we'll see <laughs> Oh, my favorite is 
the duck rice. This is duck rice. This is so good. We sweat it. I'm eating like a beef and I'm really sweating. Chicken broth. Yeah, chicken broth. Sushi. The crab sushi was really nice. Um, and I liked the rice that Ali got. I think the noodles that I got, like it was nice, but I feel like it could have had a bit more salt in it. But overall, like it was it was really good, the stuff was really nice. The cocktails are lovely as well. You got some takeaway to have at home. Yeah, because obviously we literally ordered so much. Also, if you go Ask for Bobby. The service was amazing. Yeah, very, very nice. Yeah, really, really nice. Um, but yeah, so we're just we're just walking through Chinatown at the moment. It's so busy. I'm not sure if we want to go. Do we want to go home yet? No. <laughs> I know Ellie's mum as well. She's prop. She's not in a rush for us to come home. So basically, Kimya and Ellie, their bedtime is at 7:30. But the last few nights, Kimya's really been resisting sleeping and. We know with her coco, yeah, that she has her coco wrapped around her little finger. So I just knew that Ali's mum is not even going to bother with putting Kimmy to bed. So I know Ali's mum is just, she's not in a rush for, her, for us to come home, I'm sure. She just wants to enjoy her grandchild. Um, but yeah, so yeah, we're going to take our time and I don't know. I would say should we get dessert again, but I'm so full. Let's see. I don't even think we're going the right way. Where's the cup? Okay. So, I don't know whether the night is going to take us. We might just get in the car and be like, you know what? Let's go to bed. We're tired because obviously church tomorrow. But yeah. Ooh, girl, that angle does not look nice. That makeup looking hella washed. But, um, yeah, just go to the car park now. Home time. So we've decided we're just gonna drive towards home, and if we something catches our eye, yeah, exactly along the way, then we'll just do something else. But if not, we'll just end up home anyway, and probably just I don't know, chill at home until we go to bed. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this Ali's birthday vlog, I guess. Yeah. And yeah, it was nice to be back behind the lens. And yeah, continue to pray for me as I pray for you. And also let me know, like, obviously I'm very mindful of like my audience and stuff. And obviously I, there's things that I want to share that's like personal to me. Also let me know like what kind of content or things you want to see from me and I'm quite happy to if it's like in line with my what's the word I'm looking for if it's in line with me and like what I stand for and stuff then definitely I shall consider and yeah it's nice to be back I feel like I'm looking like a ghost yeah. <laughs> but yeah it's so hot. This UK heat, it doesn't have yeah. balance. It's not get balance. So it's so thick. Like, honestly, it's just a... It's just a... What's it? A fruitless heat. It just doesn't have any fruit. <laughs> it's just... I just feel like a shining pig. But, um... <laughs> but, yeah. Honestly, like, the heat is just so useless. Very fruitless heat. The sun will make you grey. 
it's just there's no benefit to this heat here but um yeah we'll catch up if we end up doing something of course i'm gonna film and like have you guys there and stuff but if not then this is the end of today's vlog and i love you guys so much and yeah thank you so much thank you so much for watching and take care and happy birthday to my husband help, help me and wish my husband happy birthday thank you so much thank you for <laughs> a lovely lovely time lovely weekend so so grateful to god man honestly thank you bye